from LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday here on LA with incredible great news about your force to most check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over the incredible great news as a deal has been done on the house and that vote will be happening in just a few days. In fact, the vote will be happening next week. This is despite the absence of a congressional budget report. Nancy says, I don't care. The vote is happening next week. Away we go across the board. In this recording, we go over the incredible programs that will pay you about $15,000 across all these incredible clusters of checks. I go over each of them, get that pen and paper ready. It is a big payday for you. Then we turn to debt forgiveness with student loan debt. Another round could be forgiven, the big money, for this stimulus. Definitely needed in view of the new inflation numbers released this week, the CPI. I detail those and more in my commentary analysis at the very end of this video, but we got a big noon time. We got a big exciting day. The heat is on here in Southern California and the heat is on for that recon. That'll be passed in the house in just this coming week. Away we go. A finish line to be crossed, an exciting day to be upon us. And the excitement starts right here, right now, at noontime, at light. Hey, good noon time, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day and hope the weather, weather is good where you are. Here we go. A house deal done. The house vote will happen this coming week on your con. We will be done with the house. But you need to get that pen and paper ready because you don't want to wait after the fact. You want to know all the big moolah that's coming to you under the credit for stimulus recon the details in this recording despite no cbo report being finished we're going to have credible programs that'll pay you fifteen thousand dollars across all these incredible clusters of checks and that's before the sanders get their hands on the recon they'll be adding more provisions across the board student loan debt forgiveness more debt could be forgiven the president's making that big offer and it would come by executive order then fifth stimulus 5.9 percent raise next year but get ready for the fifth stimulus right behind that of COLA. And big numbers coming in in that CPI this week. I give my analysis of the situation as we go into a big noontime. And excited you're here. And this, my friends, is Allied, America's most talked about financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, like right now, and taped in the afternoons coming up right after this, is the 1 o'clock afternoon show. Then a brand new afternoon show at 3 o'clock. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. The membership link is under the video. Get that newsletter coming out tonight. We got a big recording today. Let's go over what we're going to be covering in this recording. First, we're going to be going over the three clusters of checks that pay you about $15,000. Then we're going to go back over the deal and the voting happening next week, a final vote, and we'll be done with the House of Representatives. Then we slide into each of those checks. I'm going to go over each of those checks one at a time, get that pen paper ready. Big money, big money for you. And then we go over the excitement of student loan debt forgiveness, fist stimulus, and my analysis of the situation commentary today. Let's start with these incredible classes of checks that pay you about $15,000, big money, art money, right in your hands across all these incredible clusters of checks. It's a lot of money. When third stimulus rolled out, I said I can give viewers on average $15,000. I got average viewers about $45,000. Yes, some viewers getting over $100,000 from third stimulus. The great news is that fourth stimulus now comes back with those same programs that pay viewers about $45,000 on the third stimulus. With those same programs and more, you're going to do really well in this incredible recon if you listen and learn from the videos, and we're going to start it right now. With the three clusters, when I say front end, it means it's front end check, and when I say back end, it means back end. Everything in the first cluster is surviving and going to a house passage. Hazard pay, front end, elder care, front end, Jimmy, hazard pay, back end, $4,000 of elder care, front end, $4,000 of care for the young children, front end. The Pell's Grant, $550 checks, front end. 
and then the money to repair the home if you're in a low-income community front end as well. They got the CTC one more year, the child tax credit front end, and then they finally got in there $12,500 for the purchase of a first electric vehicle and 15% uh, for a new electric bike. That is back end. Wow. Those incredible clusters are the first ones of many but the first add-on comes from Maxine Waters. She pushed hard and long to get this provision added in there, and it's one of the most successful and most talked about provisions of the viewers' channel, and she got it done. She did not get 25000 but she got another number, and it is the free money, front end money, for the purchase price of your first home. Yes, that is free, hard, coal money for the pur purchase price of your first home. Stay with me. Lay in this video. I'll go over all the details. Get that pen and paper ready with those notes. All right, let's go to the second cluster checks, and let's see the status of those checks today as well. In the second cluster of checks, there is a lot of front end checks, and it starts with paid leave. Then home repairs got in there as well. Household tax credit back end, pre-kindergarten front end, and also the weatherizing your home. Definitely need to weatherize your home, especially during the holidays. You never know what trick-or-treater or holiday caroler will show up at the door. And this holiday season, get ready for the lobsters, the singing lobsters to show up at the door. They are Mitch's fan club, <laughs> all two of them. So you need to weatherize your home so they're not let in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the second add-on. It comes from Bob Casey, the wonderful senator from Pennsylvania. He got it in there, covered benefit. It is for the home health care and also for the seniors. The big money across the board for that big money. He wanted two fifty. He got a little bit less. It is free services and it's a covered benefit. Let's go to the third class of checks. And here come some biggies. Oh boy, are you ready? All right, they got in there free school meals for all, covered benefit, and also front-end checks, cheaper prescription medication, benefits, immigration reform, benefits. Farmers don't know if it's survived. Free internet, don't know if it's survived. Clean energy out. Workers out. and uh, We don't know about the workers. And then the Medicare expansion. A lot of details about that. Let me go over those Medicare expansions right now. So the Medicare expansions, we have several provisions. First, the expanding Medicare into those those holdout states, they got that done. It's in the House bill. They got hearing in the House bill. But what they did not get in there is dental, vision, and lowering eligibility age for Medicare. That will be taken care of on the Senate side. Which brings us to the MSC, monthly or multiple IRS stimulus check. Always a Senate side play. Not going to be in the House bill. Will be a Senate play for them to add it in on the Senate side, potentially. And the Six senators who said they would do it to thousands of viewers of this channel are the two C's, the two W's, and the two S's. Casey Coons, Sanders Schumer, Warren Wyden. Have you picked up the phone and advocated with two per day? Two per day, two C's, two W's, and two S's. Advocating for why you want it. Because remember, when we go to the Senate side, this is where it heats up. Two opportunities, Senate Votorama and also Senate Subcommittee. Senate Subcommittee is important because the Senators were going to add a lot of provisions into this House bill when it lands in the Senate. And they need that Senate Subcommittee. Votorama is a two-day event at the very end of the process in which they introduce changes across the board. And those changes could include this. Votorama has been critical across the landscape of this channel. In spring of this year, Chuck Schumer and Liz Warren added the wonderful provision that made Student loan debt forgiveness tax-free. Before that, it wasn't. So students who got $20,000 of, ta of taxes, for, uh, debt forgiven, would have had to pay $10,000 of taxes. Don't have that money. So Liz and Chuck came in during the Votorama and added in and became a law. You need to advocate. One viewer sent me a message yesterday. Say, why do you not mention MSC anymore? I mention every single video. But then I realized what the viewer said, not so much my mentioning or the graphic. They were asking about how about this person picked up the phone and heard that. And this person picked up the phone and had heard that. Those graphics from about two months ago. I think the viewer was referring to these graphics. This and that and those. And they wanted to see those type of graphics. The reason why I don't use those graphics anymore is because of a few reasons. One. Those graphics are now over a month old. Number two, the situation is very fluid where provisions are coming in and coming out by the minute or by the hour. And I think some viewers are starting to make it turn into a check tracking situation, not a check cashing situation. They're saying, oh, someone got good news from Liz Warren. I'm good. No, no, no. You need to pick up the phone. You need to advocate. Because even if you had 30 people give good news yesterday or the week before, 
Senators are taking things out by the minute. In the second half of this video, you're going to see a provision that is going to be passed is in the House bill and is going to be passed, and the senators are vowing to take it out. So the situation is very fluid. You always have to advocate, assuming that someone is trying to take your provision out or not trying to take care of your provision. You need to not be sitting back and be comfortable and not be a donut gal or donut guy. That is why advocacy, not tracking, is what we do on this channel. And so let's look at that incredible graphic from the number one senator of the equation who says you need to advocate across the board. They now have in total between congressional senators' offices more receive more advocacies from the LA Purple Power than the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through because of the pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories and they have the voice of the people in you, LA, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Very kind. Please continue your continued advocacy for the continued voice of the American people and continue this ally until this becomes law. Very kind. Message for us and message for me. Continue to advocate. How many C's did you call this week? Did you call the two S's? How, what day are you calling the two W's? Pick up the phone and advocate because we're coming out of that house. We are done with the house within just a few days. And the great news is that the is that the vote will be happening in this coming week, says Nancy Pelosi. I have the latest details in the second half of this video. As we go to the Senate, that's where you want to make that big advocacy push. The CBO report is not available yet and will not be available next week, but Nancy says that wasn't really a definitive part of the agreement. I'll explain what's going on. The programs will pay you about $15,000. I have the incredible great news. Get that pen and paper ready. This is the big money. This is how you learn from the channel. This is how you get sums of money. You cash checks, not track checks. And then we turn to student loan debt forgiveness. More debt could be forgiven across the board. And then we turn to the big money of this stimulus. Needed as we see those inflationary numbers. I'll have those inflationary numbers as well. As we go into a big second half of this video, I'm very excited. You should as well. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now, <laughs> direct from Santa Monica, California, live. As the House deal is done, we're going to have that vote in the next few days. Next week, the, voter, the vote on the House side will be done. We will be finished, despite the absence of a CBO report. I'll explain the latest details. With incredible recon finishing on the House side. Then, the incredible programs across the board, they'll pay you about $15,000. You should be ecstatic across the board. Student loan debt forgiveness, more debt could be forgiven across the board. You need to get that pen and paper ready. I have the latest details. And then fifth stimulus. Boy, we got a big second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. And with that, thank you for joining me. And also, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. We have so much coming up. And it's starting right now in the second half. What's at issue here is that the vote on the recon will be this coming week. Here we go. Nancy Pelosi was approached when overseas to ask the question that I have been wondering, which was, what about that agreement 
The agreement reached a week ago said the following deal, that w the moderate Democrats will vote in favor of the recon when the Congressional Budget Office report is released, but no later than the week of November 15th. Ooh, that's a lot in a sentence. Let's read that sentence again. We commit to voting in favor of the recon in its current format, barring any technical changes, as we receive the fiscal budget office report, but in no event, no later than the week of November 15th, signed Gothenheimer, Rice, Murphy, Schrader, and Case. There you go. So what's really at issue here was that phrasing, no later than November 15th. I was concerned that someone would say, we're not going to get the Congressional Budget Office report next week. Wait, maybe we're not going to vote. So Nancy Pelosi was asked exactly the question I would have asked her was, are you still voting next week if you don't have that CBO report? Her answer, yes. When asked at the Climate Summit in Scotland, Nancy Pelosi says, we intend to vote on the recon on November 15th as our statement agreed. Why is this important? Is because the Congressional Budget Office is now indicating that they will not have that report done by next week. The Congressional Budget Office is a nonpartisan organization that has been looking at this recon for a long time. And they say it's a very complicated provision, per set of provisions. Over the last several months, we've had technical assistance to committees that have asked for proposals to the bill. The analysis is complicated. We anticipate releases some estimates, but some of these provisions deal with some of the other provisions. They overlap. So we will tell you when we have a release date, <laughs> meaning it's not going to be ready next week. This week, they released several numbers for some provisions already, science, space, technology, small business veterans, but that's just a few million of dollars, not even a billion. So it's very, very small. So the great news, the vote is coming next week. And we will be done on the House side with the House bill that pays you about $15,000 across all these incredible clusters of checks. What's important to understand is that if you've been with this channel since day one, you know I'm here to get you money. I'm here to focus to get you money. This is a channel that shows you the information to get money. We're not here tracking checks. We're cashing checks. And the way you cash checks is learn what those checks are because this is not a universe in which everything lands like a donut. <laughs> Under third stimulus, the great news was that third stimulus, I looked at it in a pre-release before it became law, and I said, I can get you about 15000 Then when it became law, I said, I can get you about 15000 Once it became law, the average view of this channel got $45,000 from third stimulus, which included rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, SNAP, and other items. The great news is on all those programs are coming back under four stimulus, so you can get them again, more money from the same items and additional sums of money. And let's go over those other programs starting right now. Paid leave got in there. Paid leave pays a fortune. What is paid leave? You have to stay home because of birth of a child, illness, or death by you or a family member in the household. How much does it pay? A lot. Under third stimulus, is going to pay $1,700 a week for every week that you're at issue if you make more than $70,000 or more per year. How about if you make $35,000 a year, then $800 a week? What if you make $15,000 a year, $400 a week? How many weeks? Four weeks, up to four weeks per year. Oh boy, that's a lot of money. Four times $1,700, that's five to $6,000 I can get you, wow. And then it ended with the best part, the eligibility. Nancy got it in there for everyone, all workers. So. All income levels and all types of workers. Uber driver, ten ninety nine. You make twenty thousand dollars or more per year. Twenty thousand dollars per year. Wife is pregnant. You get this money. Department store worker, a W two who makes one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You get this money. Wow, it's huge. What I was talking about early in this video, how things are coming in and coming out by the minute. Here we go. The second add on added last week. On the House side, will go to a House vote and be passed on the House, but now the Democrat progressives in the Senate say, when this lands in the Senate next week, it's coming out. This is why you absolutely need to advocate for everything every minute of the day. What is the provision? SALT, and it's actually a very good provision. SALT concerns the deduction on a federal tax return of your state taxes. When you go to pay your file your tax return for the state, you pay state taxes. That number then you can take over to your federal tax return and deduct it as a deduction, but only up to $10,000 under the Trump 2017 tax overall. So the issue is, what if you have more than $10,000 of taxes? You can't deduct it. 
No longer the case. The salt cap will be moved up to $72,500 because of the workings by the moderate Democrats. You'll now be able to deduct $72,500 of what you pay in state and local taxes on your federal tax return. What's happening today? The progressives say it's a bad provision. They want it out, and they're vowing to take it out. Now, this is where things get sort of dicey. It's not a bad provision. It's a very good provision because in states like New York and New Jersey, where people pay a lot of taxes, this is a provision that would help them. It doesn't hurt anyone, this provision. So I don't know what the progressives are talking about. The only thing they can think about is that they want to raise revenue from the taxes to pay for some other social program. They shouldn't be battling this battle. It's not a winning battle. It looks good. It looks bad for the progressives. So, but the point for this for you is that you can't sit back and say, oh, someone said someone's going to take care of me for this provision this week on a May. This is how the situation. This provision was out two weeks ago, in last week, and now some people are vowing to take it out next week. So very, very fluid situation. Job training, $400 billion got in there. It's free and it's incredible. They got the Medicaid gap fix in there as well. What is this? When Obamacare was rolled out, 12 states refused to pay for it, even though they were offering it for free in their states. So that this caused an issue for the Democrats because the Democrats are picking up the tab for the Republican states. So those were the 12 holdout states. Now, Raphael Warnock, the Democratic senator from Georgia, and Jim Claiborne, the Democratic senator from the Carolinas, got a workaround plan for those 12 holdout states. And now we'll be offering several years of subsidized private insurance to low-income people. There you go. Immigration reform got in this week on there's no checks for immigrants. And that brings us to rent assistance, $150 billion for housing uh, for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, also for those weatherizing home, home repairs, and the first-time home purchases. So here we have a lot of details. What, let's back up. Under third stimulus, we had all this big money for rent, utilities, and, 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 and mortgage assistance. Average viewer got about 20000 And many got multiple rounds of it, bringing it to almost forty or 50000 The great news is it's back under four stimulus. So there you go. There, every money that you've gotten for this channel before, under purple and the purple videos, you're going to get it again under four stimulus. Then we have the new add-ons. The purchase price of your first home. Ho first purchase and, and, and home. We get questions about all those three. First, people are asking, what is first? Well, it's likely your first, but we don't know how they're going to define it. If you're married before and now you're single. Home, we presume this is a single family residence. So it does not mean uh, if you buy, you know, something other than that. But it does not necessarily need to be brick and mortar we see so far. And then low income, we don't see that's the situation at the moment. Repair of the home if you're a low income community, yeah. So we're going to see how that plays out likely as a grant. And then finally, the weatherize your home. We're going to see how that plays out as well, potentially not just for, uh, potentially for all types of homes across the board. Which brings us to home health care. Seniors and people on disabilities, $150 billion of that. We get the great news of $550 checks to students who are currently in the Pell's Grant. Not re uh, retro. There's nothing retro in this recon. So the Pell's Grant, if you're on the Pell's Grant now, this is you. You're on Pell's Grant two years ago, no. You're not getting a $500, $550 check for something retro two years ago. They got in there $12,500 for the purchase of an electric vehicle. I said earlier in this video, your first electric vehicle. So no, it's not the first. Just an electric vehicle. Uh, made in a union shop. People have been asking me to explain that. So that would be Ford, GM, Chrysler, and their subsidiaries, $12,500. Then we have nutrition, $65 a month for that child when not in school. That could go potentially all the way up to high school. The biggest part of this incredible recon is the cheaper prescription medication. This is an instant game changer, fixing the benefits for you the minute this becomes law. Case in point, I asked for you as last Saturday morning, how much are you paying for insulin if you're on Medicare? Mark's wife, $900 a dose. Other people said $500, $700. It will be $35 a dose when this becomes law. What happened? 20 years ago when Medicare was rolled out, its charter language said they could not negotiate the price of, met of prescription medication with Big Pharma. 
They'd have to pay whatever they were charged. And that resulted in you getting big charges across the board. For 20 years, Big Pharma, with 15 paid lobbyists, blocked any change to, the, to this legislation. Until now. After all these years, Joe Biden did what no one has been able to do. He got Chris's email on the phone. The senator from Arizona said, Chris, and you need to come on board two Wednesdays ago. And she agreed. And she came on board. And then he got the agreement. The agreement is game changing. Americans didn't hear it because the White House wanted to run stories about climate instead of this one. This is an instant savings to your wallet. The next morning, you'll see $35 charges instead of $1,000 charges for that insulin. It's the biggest medication, like cancer and arthritis medication, and of course, diabetes medication, Medicare Part B and Medicare Part D. It'll start with 20 medications right out the door, cheaper negotiated prices in good faith with Big Pharma, and then ramp up to 30 medications by 2028. Inflation cannot be, will be the benchmark for determining how much they can rise, raise per year. Chuck says, get ready for next year because we're going to do more about this as well next year. Absolutely. Chris and Zanima praised it. Scott Peters praised it. It says really good for seniors. And then we had Wyde and we had Carpenter and Menendez all saying it's great. This coming week, the Senate parliamentarian is likely to, rule, likely to rule on the potential removal of two provisions from the recon, and they are immigration reform and paid leave. Who is a Senate parliamentarian? Is a government official, and her job is to look at the rules of the Senate and say, what can you do by recon and what can you not do? First provision, immigration reform. She previously rule, ruled it does not belong in a recon, so get ready. I think it's coming out. Paid leave, I don't see where this one goes. 50-50 on this one. Some people says it belongs. Some people says it does not belong. Well, the reason why it's so important to be laser focused on everything is because we have 50 senators who have a lot of proposals about this recon. And we already have many senators saying, get ready, because when the bill lands in the Senate, we are making changes. That is why you want that Senate subcommittee. That Senate subcommittee would add a lot more checks and likely remove very few. Bernie Sanders says it's the best bill since the 1960s, but there's major gaps. When asked, are you adding provisions? And absolutely, like dental and vision. Comments coming in from center after center, like Ron Wyden, who says, you know what? Um, we got a lot of stuff to add, like uh, a significant amount of work to do. Senator Chris Coons. Chuck Schumer, Murphy, all say get ready because there's a lot of changes coming. And that is why you want that subcommittee because the subcommittee is where you get more checks in there. I saw someone in the commercial break, and I saw someone, I think on Morning's Highlight, say the same question. What date is the Votorama? You don't want to do that. You don't want to be a calendar, Colleen. You don't want to know what date the Votorama is because the Votorama is the last resort. You want the best resort First, not Club Med, <laughs> subcommittee, Senate subcommittee. The best resort is Senate subcommittee, where they have their time to add a lot more checks. We're currently at 15,000. We can add a lot more in subcommittee, approximately 15,000. We can add a lot more in subcommittee. And you don't want to leave everything for Votorama because it's 48 hours. As Ron Wyden says, we got a lot of work to do. So get that pen and paper ready. Let's go over some of those hard, cold cash checks right now and some of those back end, pre kindergarten. Front end, one year, child care, uh, back end, then the CTC, one year, front end, 150000 or less. I show it less as the, or as the income level. Earn income tax credit, back end for my essential workers, one more year of that. And then we have the hearings aid, yes, that is a front end check. Then we got the other money across the board, which is the, the housing money we went over, the Pell's grant, $550 checks to my college students front end, and the $65 checks for my people when they're not in school for, two, for medication, for a food. When asked what provisions are going in on the Senate side, Bernie says, well, get ready for teeth and vision. He says the wealthiest country in the globe, and it makes no sense that we don't have teeth and vision. So let's go over the three provisions I see Bernie adding in there, in addition to the push for that monthly IRS stimulus check, or at least one of them. And that is the push for lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. It's currently at 65. Bob Casey wants it at 60. Bernie wants it at 55. We'll see what happens. It's not in the House bill. Then dental and vision. Dental is very straightforward, but expensive. Bernie wanted 10 years, full benefits. 
couldn't get it in there. Then he went at three years, full benefits, couldn't get it in there. They last had it at $850 checks, voucher, front-end checks. Bernie uh, didn't like it, and then they removed it. The vision is the easy one. I exam at a pair of frames per year. I exam, Costco, $50 approximately. A pair of frames, a pair of, uh, of frames, $100 per year. One fifty check in the mail every year to seniors. Done. Very simple. On mornings, allied someone today said frames. My frames cost four hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I don't know if the person was bragging or saying that I was out of touch, but I don't know that this is not the Fendi stimulus channel. <laughs> we are not doing Gucci uh, Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, uh, this is not the house of Gucci, and I am not uh, Jared Reno. No, just, you know, uh, four hundred dollar frames. Yeah, I talk about the frame. I'm not talking about the the whole the whole eye exam and everything. And you had a you know a cataracts uh, you know operation. I'm talking about the frames. That owl on that commercial is rolling his eyes when you said you paid four hundred dollars for frames. Yeah, maybe on the Champs Elysees in France, but um, you are not getting four hundred dollars francs from Bernie Sanders, uh, even if it does say uh, Cartier on the corner. But thank you for trying. <laughs> Chop tax credits. I still can't believe the viewer was going to the mat on the four hundred dollars frames. Uh, child tax credit, sixty thousand dollars or less, is what I show in the notes. And then the housing aid. I show it a little bit more. I showed one seventy five, and then I show the in home health care. A little bit more, two hundred billion dollars. Let's turn over to some student loan debt before we come back to this and some commentary. Student loan debt, more debt could be forgiven. The president's proposing to forgive ten thousand dollars student loan debt. They should take it. The Democrats. He forgave student loan debt for people who became disabled. Student loan debt for people who went into the nonprofit sector and people who went into the public sector. Ten thousand dollars of student loan debt on top of that, they should absolutely take it. Then the cola raise. Wow! If there was ever time for the fifth stimulus, it's now this week. Cola is going up five point nine percent next year. Have you gotten that letter? If you haven't, don't worry. Treasure uh, Social Security sent out the letter saying your benefits January one are going up five point nine percent. Well. That's okay, but you need a little bit more than that, and that's why fistimus is needed. Well, a lot more than that. Raising your benefits up one big time, and then apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. Removing the asset cap, removing the income cap, and removing the marriage penalty. Mark sent me a very nice message over, over uh, social media overnight. It was about something I used to cover on this channel, but I haven't sent in a while. He said, how do these lift-ups work? So let me explain it again. First, they'll raise you up one time under COLA. This 5.9% kicks in January 1. Then, if his stimulus becomes a law, you get a second lift up. Let's say it's 3%. Then, the new benchmark, inflation, will be applied December 2022, the first time. Let's say that's 3%. That's what I'm estimating at. You'll get another 3% lift up. Then, the year after that, if inflation is again 4%, you'll get a 4% lift up. These lifts keeps on adding up. Once you go up, you never go down. If you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The membership link is under the video. Become a member today and get that newsletter that comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is the last day of the week to get that membership newsletter. So get it. Subscribe today. The membership newsletter is very important because it shows you the big money to get for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, SNAP, the nonprofits, the treasury statement. It's important to get that money because that money is there now. You can get more rounds of it if you got more money before. And it tees you up for four stimulus as well. And that also tees me up for my commentary as we go into the final minutes of this video. I have a couple things of commentary today. First, some tough love. Now and then I have to do some tough love. And I'm doing it today for the subject matter of rent, food, and mortgage assistance in the context of four stimulus. Some people have been jumping into the live chats. Not a few, lot, like two or three sporadically here and there. And their comments have said, we need to get that forced stimulus done right away because people are being evicted. Or they say they got to get that forced stimulus done right away because people are losing their homes. Or they got to get that forced stimulus done right away because people are going hungry. And I see and I think to myself, wait a second. I have done thousands and thousands of videos showing people how to get the money from third stimulus, which before that was second stimulus. And some people are sitting back not getting that money and looking forward into something that is not yet law yet to pay them. Mm -mm. That's not, uh, here's a tough love moment. That's not the way you do it. 
If you need help with rent, you don't sit around and wait for the likelihood of what happens under forced stimulus in the future. You get the rent that's available right now. I have made thousands of videos about rent since 2020. I've gotten people $250,000 of rent under second stimulus. I've gotten fortunes under third stimulus. And people are still getting money for rent this week and last week. I haven't made the video about rent and, and, and third stimulus in a few days. It'll be coming back perhaps this weekend. But here you go. Here's the money for rent. People are getting more than this sum of money. This is a third stimulus graphic. They got this money a few months ago. They're getting additional rounds of that money. So if you owe $20,000 of rent, why are you waiting around for fourth stimulus? You need to go get it on a third stimulus. It was created, it, third stimulus created a program to give you that money for rent. Don't be waiting around for fourth stimulus to pay your rent. Next, same thing with mortgage assistance. If you have, if you're worried you're gonna lose your home and you're looking for fourth stimulus to come law, no, you need to get a mortgage assistance right now from third stimulus and the nonprofits. They're paying a lot of money. Utilities. My water bill's about to be turned off. I hope they pay that. I hope they get this forced stimulus to law right away. Wrong focus. Tough love moment. You are not focusing. Third stimulus pays money for utilities. Right now, you don't have to wait around for fourth stimulus. Third stimulus pays big money for heating oil and water and gas and electric. And then finally, food. Someone saying people are going hungry. You shouldn't be going hungry. I've been getting viewers like Mark's brother-in-law, $25,000 uh, a year because of SNAP, and that is a huge amount of money. SNAP went up 25% last month. If you haven't got to SNAP, pick up the phone and call Department of Agriculture. It's coming back on this recording. So that was a tough love moment. Next, I want to turn to the inflation. The inflation is going to be the topic du jour for over a week uh, out of the president's mouth. Why? Because inflation is a confusing concept. You understand inflation as you go to the pump and you pay gas, you pay more for gas. And then you understand inflation as you go buy some eggs and milk, it goes up. But inflation is a little bit more complicated than that. And the White House and, and Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, misguided inflation, mispredicted inflation. Back last summer, I first was saying 7 8%, and I said, you know, maybe temporary. And I saw Jay Powell in the White House saying 2%, 3%. I said, Boy, I'm looking foolish on this channel because I'm saying 8% inflation and the president is saying 2 and the Federal Reserve is saying 2 or 3. I don't know if I can keep on saying 8 with a straight face. And I ran the Jer Jeremy Siegel quotes where he said 20% to buffer my 8% because I just looked so darn high in my number in the summer. I started saying 5% for a while because it looked, I just, I looked like I was way too high at 8%. Well, it came in this week. 6.2%, the consumer price index number, 6.2%. And its components, some of its components up 59%. <laughs> so I was not too high. I should have really stuck my, held my guns. Here's what the numbers show this week. Year to date, fuel oil went up 59%. Energy went up 30%. Used cars went up 26%. New cars went up 10%. Food, 5.3, which doesn't look that much, but here you go. Meat, poultry, and fish, and eggs went up 11.9%. Wow. And if that was not enough, <laughs> Lisa Baronowitz on uh, Bloomberg Surveillance and myself are probably the only one that's going to say the word, the S word a lot to you. Stagflation. Stagflation is a concern if salaries are not going up fast enough to keep compete with the rising consumer goods escalating price. How does that work? Let's say your salary went up $2 an hour, but the goods you're buying went up an astronomical amount. That means your salary is not keeping up with the price of goods escalation. Big problem across the board. This morning, we opened up with a new number, and the new number showed that 4 million Americans quit their job last month. Now, let's be very frank. They didn't cut, quit their job because of uh, crypto or because of COVID. They quit their job because they want to take another job that they think pays more money. And this is a pervasive problem that people are shifting from job to job to job to get a higher paying job. Also, a big issue the president has to address, has not addressed, is the oil reserves. The, the, the U.S. government owns fortunes of stockpiled gas and oil in the case of big problems with OPEC. Well, the problem at the moment is the gasoline in Los Angeles is 5 to $6 a gallon. 
So these prices are going up very, very quickly. And that's before we go into the very bitter winter months of heating oil, where people may not be able to pay 59% more than they paid last year. President's going to have to address the situation very quickly. He should be releasing some of these oil reserves right now to bring the price of gasoline right down right away. Can he do anything about these other numbers? Well, he can potentially do something about this labor problem. There is no shortage of jobs. The shortage is in people working, people quitting jobs to take a higher paying job, and there's just a shortage of people wanting to go to work. The product shortage will correct itself in February and March because the manufacturing has ramped up. They're now 300% capacity, whether it's US or China, and that those products will flood the market. So we won't have a shortage of products anymore. Even if the trucks and the ports are slow, the products will ramp up, and so that'll buffer itself out. But we still have the question about this type of inflation. Unfortunately, inflation doesn't manifest itself in these economic numbers until much later. If you're going to the gasoline pump today and you see it went up more than two weeks ago, you know the number next month for this will be even worse. What are you going to see over the next few days? You're going to see people use these recons for good or bad when talking about inflation. It's out of touch. Let's go over the details. First, fist stimulus is 100% about inflation. Fist stimulus is benchmark as inflation. But fist stimulus talks about that people on SSI, SSDI, and seniors have been tied to COLA for decades, and COLA doesn't go anywhere. So inflation goes up, COLA doesn't go anywhere. Inflation goes up, COLA doesn't go anywhere. Milk goes up, COLA doesn't go anywhere. So you've been left behind before the, infl before the pandemic, then during the pandemic left behind and still left behind. That's why this stimulus is right on point with the issue of inflation. President's going to have to address fist stimulus as well because he's addressing labor shortages. He's going to have to address this issue of seniors. Their benefits are not holding up in view of the situation. 5.9% is an increase is good, but it ain't going to work because 5.9% is fixing something that's been behind a number for many, many years. Four stimulus. Okay. Here we go with four stimulus. <laughs> this weekend, I can just I can just smell you turn on CBS, NBC, or ABC Morning News, and they're going to have some Republican or some Democrat on there saying, this is why we need four stimulus. This is why we don't need four stimulus, because of inflation. Hogwash. This recon, four stimulus, has very little to do about inflation. It doesn't hurt, and it doesn't help inflation. The only provision in this recon that is really on point is the rent. Why? Because rent inflation is an inflationary benchmark. Rent inflation is out of control. The growth of rent prices in one year is out of control. And it's going to go up higher next year, meaning you go to pay the rent bill, you don't have enough money because the rent has now gone up. That is why you need rent aid in this forced stimulus recon. And with that exception, the rest of the provisions in this recon, not particular on point. What's important for you to note is that you need to stay with me. And over the weekend, I'm going to bring back third stimulus and slide it into the time running time of this video because it's very, very important. I've done this before. I did this in October, November last year. People were waiting for second stimulus, which ultimately became a $600 check. Um, they were waiting for second stimulus. They needed money. I helped got them the rent and utilities. It deeply troubles me when someone says, I need four stimulus because of rent and utilities and mortgage assistance. Yeah. That shows me the importance of bringing back third stimulus in the recordings and making sure you get those sums of money. There are very few bills that I can't cover on this channel. I can cover a lot of household bills for you. I can't cover the car and I can't cover the home repairs currently up until fourth stimulus becomes law. There is nothing for the home under third stimulus, with the exception of the nonprofits that do some small nominal repairs. Under four stimulus, we got home covered, not car. <laughs> so we got a few more bills covered. But other than that, I can get a lot of your bills in your day-to-day -day life covered under third stimulus. And that is why it's important for you to bring that pen and paper to each recording. Coming up next is a one o'clock afternoon show. And then we got a brand new eat afternoon show at three o'clock. This video will automatically take you to that one o'clock show. And with that, I want you to subscribe. 400,000 subscribers and 140 million views in a year and a half. Be part of this incredible love and family. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. And get that incredible newsletter that comes out tonight. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Valet for more.